Okay, I want to do several little short videos. I figured it's easier, number one, on the downloading, and then number two, attention spans. Okay, anyway, I got this worksheet off of Common Core Sheets. Uh, it's a really good website if you want to, or if you have the opportunity to uh, print off anything. It's good practice sheets. I wanted to give the students a visual of what we're going to be doing with mixed numbers. When you add mixed numbers, uh, it's just the same thing we're doing when we add fractions, except we got some whole numbers. And that's about it. But the one thing I wanted to stress is that, and this is going to be really important when we get to subtracting whole numbers, that just because it's a whole number, like the number three, does not mean that it has nothing to do with a fraction. It does. It means that this three <clears throat> has five. I'm sorry. Let me start all over again. It means that this three right here has three of these circles that have five over five. So, for example, since right here I have three. So, three complete circles. So, you would color in three of these circles completely. Now as you did that you actually colored in 15 fifths. Okay? And we know from previous experience when we have 15 over 5, 5 going to 15 three times. So that's 3. That's where you get your whole number at. So just because it says 3, you need to get in your mind that it's going to be a fraction. Well, if this, if the denominator was a 10, then it would be 10 over 10 equals 1. So if that confused you, I'm sorry. I just, let's just go on. All right, now, so when, this is a picture format. When we do the picture format, it's just real easy for beginners that you can actually see, and this is one way they do it. They say, go ahead and color in all the uh, whole numbers. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. So that means I've come over here, and I'm going to color in 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I colored in 6 complete circles because 3 plus 3 is 6. Then it's asking me to add, then it's going to ask me to add three fifths plus three fifths. Now we already have common denominator, so we don't have to do it. We don't have to worry about fixing it. So what we're going to do is we would do three fifths, and then I'm going to use a different color just to show it. And then I would color in another three fifths. So we can say that 3 fifths plus 3 fifths equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1 fifth. Okay? Now this is beginning, uh, just especially with these pictures, they suggest starting with the whole number. But when we get to just adding these without the pictures, I don't suggest doing the whole number first. Uh, because you need to look at your fractions to make sure you have common denominators, then we can do it. But just for right now, because I know all of these problems on this sheet are common denominators, they have them, we're just going to go ahead and go with um, the easy way and just go 2 plus 2, which is 4. So we're just going to start here. So number 2 is 2 and 2 sixth plus 2 and 4 sixths. So, like we did before, we're going to go 2 plus 2, which is 4. So, I'm going to color in 4 of these circles. So, I colored in 4 of these circles. So, now I have 2 sixths plus 4 sixths. So, I'm going to go right here and color in 1 2, that's my first one, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now when I do my answer, 2 and 
2 6 plus 2 and 4 6 equals 1 2 3 4 5. Okay. All right. This is 2 and 2 fifths plus 1 and 4 fifths. Now we already have common denominators. So all we have to worry about right now is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so I have 3. So I got my whole numbers out of the way. Now I have 2 fifths plus 4 fifths. So I'm going to come right here and color in 2 fifths. Okay, with my one color. I'm going to take my other color and color in four fifths. One, two, three, four. So my answer is one, two, three, four, and one fifth. We're doing a lot of fives, haven't we? Yeah. All right, next problem is a five. Okay, I have two and three fifths plus one and three fifths. So, common denominators, let's start with our whole numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that gets rid of the whole numbers. Now we're going to do the fractions. 3 fifths, so I've got to color in 3 of these plus three-fifths. Okay, that gives me one, two, three, four, and one-fifth. I think whoever did this worksheet had a thing for fives. Okay. Oh, look at ten. Okay, so I have one and seven-tenths plus one and four-tenths. Now, it's common denominators. Let's just look at our whole numbers. 1 plus 1, real easy, equals 2. So I've got to color in two of the circle thingies, which means 20 slices, because there are 10 slices in each circle, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So, okay. So I have two of these, okay, because 1 plus 1. Now I have 7 tenths plus 4 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and color in 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 4 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so my answer is 1, 2, 3, and 1 tenth. All right, now I'm going to put a, wait, I'll do one more because that's half. Okay, I have two-fourths plus three-fourths. Okay, common denominator, two plus two, my whole number, is four. So i got to color in four of these. One, wrong color, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's exactly what we got. 2 plus 2 is 4. And now 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. All right. Now, my answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Now, that is a simple visual of how to add mixed numbers. I'm going to take a picture, post it on Dojo, and if you want to, you can print it out or just have the kids do it. They can count it out on the computer. Uh, they can do 7 through 12, and I'll come back tomorrow and do just a quick, just to show you the answers. Uh, it'll be like a real short. Actually, I'll just probably just put a picture up. But anyway, uh, that's part one of adding mixed numbers. I'll probably put some more stuff up tomorrow. Have a good night.